initial safe, as the name suggests, are, are the minimum, if you like, parts that you need to have in order to get going. Now, what does that mean? It means that you understand your customer needs and you have teams of agile teams that are working coordinated in, uh, to deliver that. Now, your organization may be one who may have one or two large customers that are bringing enough revenue for you and you will not need to have portfolio. So essential safe is what you need. So sometimes people look at safe and they believe that you got to go from essential safe to solution uh, or, or enterprise uh, solution delivery to portfolio. Now those configurations are there really to sort of help organizations uh, see what is the most appropriate uh, for their context as they are at right now. And of course you could, if you're a big organization where you have um, uh, lots and lots of different solutions and different uh, customer segments that you are uh, serving, then portfolio safe is the right solution uh, or the right approach for you. Do you start with a portfolio? Uh, you could start at a portfolio end and start with a portfolio uh, solution. Why would you want to do that? Well, we have we have found out with experience that when people, when we are in that kind of organizational setup, if you defer the portfolio elements of what is in, included in the business agility, you're going to hit some systemic or organizational wide issues. For example, one of them is about how do we fund work and lean portfolio management and the portfolio safe level addresses that issue to say, instead of funding projects and having short term teams that come together in order to deliver a project and disband, we are effectively funding capacity. To say what is the value stream and what is our organization strategy how much of the capacity do we want to invest to serve this customer segment and these solutions how much do we want to give to another uh, value stream so these are issues that will hamper us if we don't tackle them early through portfolio having said that and then the portfolio lean portfolio management is a journey it's not something that you start and you flick a switch and all of a sudden you're now running in lean portfolio management no it's a journey and you as an organization you evolve and you um you uh, carry through carry that journey and tackle the organization nor if you like impediments that you will have because you will have people who will uh have concerns and, and you need to sort of prove it in your context, maybe do it for that one value stream, prove that it's delivering value to you and then go to the other value stream. And once you've got enough of a momentum, you can extend it wider. So that's why, so that's why one of the reasons that we encourage organizations to start with a portfolio thinking, because that allows them to remove some of the barriers that you would hit if you just started with essential safe. You could start with Essential Safe and you will then get your uh, teams of agile teams that are working together in order to deliver a solution. But then if you're working in a project funded environment, then that solution train membership keeps changing because the funding for the solution will uh, keep going up and down. And then you won't have the consistency in membership that you need in order to achieve the product vision and the product goal.